Today in Making Drink, we're gonna take a trip into the world of acid adjusted cocktails. And I'll share with you an easy to make acidic solution that you can use to acid adjust cocktails on the fly. That's in real time for one drink or for several. And once you make this solution, you can acid adjust without prep easily. And it works with any fruit juice and any liquid. This is pretty in the weeds, nerdy, deep end stuff here even if you're familiar with acid adjusting cocktails. Some of you might know the process of acid adjusting and just wanna to get to the formula for this solution to find out what I'm talking about. And if so, you can scrub ahead by checking the chapter markers below. But before we go there, it might be helpful to everyone else for a little explanation of what and why you may want to acid adjust your cocktails. The idea of acid adjusting is not new. It was definitely being done in the early 2010s by people like Dave Arnold, who was doing this at his bar, Booker and Dax, and he does briefly cover acid adjustments in liquid intelligence. For me, the best cocktails start with spirit, sugar, and acid. The acidity is generally coming from a citrus, and not all citrus is created equally. For most of the cocktail world, and for me, the king of all citrus is the lime, for its flavor and also for its tart acidity. The reason you would want to acid adjust is so you can use a juice other than lemon and lime and have the same tart citric component you get from lemons and limes. To get a similar acidity out of an orange juice, you would need to use roughly five times as much as you would lime juice, but that doesn't actually work because you'll have five times as much juice or water in your drink, so you're not tasting any more acidity or tartness, and you're increasing the sugar content drastically. There are several kinds of acids in citrus, but the main ones we're focusing on are citric acid and malic acid. Citric acid is what we're very familiar with. Imagine that dusting on a Sour Patch Kid candy. It provides that sharp, clean acid note, which is often very pleasant. Even just straight up citric acid is kind of nice. Malic acid, on the other hand, hits the sides of my palate, that pucker sensation you get from fruits like a Granny Smith apple. While it is appealing, on its own and in high quantities, it's not pleasant. We've all had a bad lime or two, and we know that limes are not created equally. Acid levels in fruit can change depending on a variety of factors. Where the fruit was grown, its ripeness, when it was harvested, and its overall variety can all affect a citrus juice's acidity. I'm gonna share with you some basic estimates for fruit acidity. Now, I had a difficult time finding anything accurate about fruit juice acidity. Most sources were blogs that actually had no sourcing. Dave Arnold does share a chart in liquid intelligence with some fruits, but even that is not the same as a study I found for lemons and limes from the National Institute of Health. Limes have anywhere from five to 7% acidity with about 4.6% citric acid and one to 2% malic acid. For the sake of this video, we're gonna say the lime juice is 6% acidic. That's basically what everyone uses when acid adjusting cocktails or making a super juice. And while almost all recipes would call for 4% citric and 2% malic, I personally find that malic acid can easily ruin a juice. So I use 4.5% citric acid to 1.5% malic acid, which I think is technically closer to a real lime. The overall acidity in limes makes limes unique in the popular cocktail fruits as they are very acidic and they have a fair amount of malic acid. We'll be looking to make all other fruit juices reach that lime level acidity. Lemons have roughly 4.8% citric acid, which is slightly more than limes, but much less malic acid. Generally speaking, you can interchangeably use lemons and limes for acidic purposes, not for flavor, but they do lack that malic acid. And let's be real, lime flavor is just better flavor. Grapefruit is often misunderstood because of its bitterness. You wouldn't realize from taste, but grapefruits are pretty close to oranges in sugar content. That bitterness counteracts that, and the bitterness is not acidity. Grapefruits come in around 2.5 to 3% acid, which means we need to double the acidity to get to lime juice levels. Pineapple juice comes in anywhere from a half to one and a half percent acid and includes citric and malic acid. That's significantly variable and can depend on where it's from and if it's fresh, canned, or bottled. But if I'm adjusting pineapple juice, I'm just calling the base level 1%. Oranges have a wide range of acidity as well, but for our purposes, we're going to label them as 1% acidity. 
Now I've read California oranges are more acidic than Florida, and this is common for these fruit juices. There's not just some magic numbers that they all fall in line with. Batch adjusting juices has been the simplest way to acid adjust precisely, and to do that, the easiest thing for us to do is to head on over to the metric system. To give you the easiest example, let's acid adjust 100 milliliters of water to get it to equal lime juice acidity. You just need to add in six grams of acid to make it approximately 6% acidic, matching a lime. You could add four grams of citric acid and two grams of malic acid, and your acidic water would mimic the acidity of the lime juice, not the flavor, just the acidity. If you wanted to make a batch of 100 milliliters of an acid adjusted grapefruit juice, and we're saying that the base acidity is 3%, we just need to increase the acidity by 3%, which equals three additional grams of acid. Acid adjusting batches of juice is not difficult. In fact, it's, it's pretty easy, but you're usually needing to work in larger quantities of juice and you're changing how much acid you use based on the juice that you're adjusting. In really small quantities, acid adjusting is not possible with a normal kitchen scale as they're not equipped to handle the small quantities. Now the batch adjusting works well for bartenders as they have a pretty good idea of how much juice they need each night and they probably need all types of juices. But for the home bartender or someone looking to acid adjust a single cocktail, it's kind of a pain in the ass. It's cumbersome and it can be wasteful. So instead, my formula is for an acidic solution where you can acid adjust any cocktail with any juice in real time without using a scale or acid adjusting large batches of juices. And I'm calling this 1% acid adjuster. Couldn't come up with anything else. I even asked our future overlord and it just gave me these ideas. I'm open to suggestions. What makes this solution unique and the most important aspect of this whole thing is that it will allow you to take one milliliter of our acidic solution and when added to one ounce of any juice or any liquid, it'll increase the acidity of that juice by 1%. So let's spell that out again. One ounce of juice, plus one milliliter of acidic solution equals a 1% increase in the acidity of that juice. Let's say you wanna acid adjust one ounce of pineapple juice. Since you're starting at a base level of 1%, you add in five milliliters of our acidic solution. Now your 1% acidic pineapple juice is 6%, just like a lime. Let's say you have two full ounces of orange juice, which is roughly 1% acid. You need to increase the acidity by 5%, but since we're dealing with two ounces of orange juice instead of one, we would need to double it and add in 10 milliliters of our acidic solution. It's that easy. To make the solution, you'll need citric acid, malic acid, a kitchen scale, a bottle for storage, and our secret ingredient, a children's medication doser with a universal lid. We'll get into that part later. Now I spent a lot of time trying to figure this out and I even got some help from a friend of the channel who happens to be a PhD student at MIT. And we confirmed that we need a solution that is approximately 35% acidic. I say approximately because while that sounds easy, we're getting even deeper into the weeds here. But when we're measuring a liquid in milliliters and then interchanging that with grams, it only really works in a one-to-one -one simple way with water. And that's plain water. As soon as we add something else to that water, then it changes. An easy example of this is 100 milliliters of water equals 100 grams. Even most dumb Americans like me know that, but 100 milliliters of seawater will weigh 103 grams. There are more dissolved solids in the seawater. And therein lies the problem with all acid adjusted recipes, videos, blog posts, or whatever. They don't accurately account for the increase in volume when you add an acid to your water. And the fix isn't easy because the grams of acid that you add, they don't equal the increase in volume. It's like somewhere in between. For instance, if you wanted to create a 6% acidic solution out of 100 milliliters of water, you'd simply add six grams of acid. But guess what? Your new solution would not be 6% acidic. It would be around 5.7% acidic. Now that's actually super insignificant and the difference in that case is negligible. But since this, our 1% acid booster needs to be concentrated at 35%, we need to be closer to exact. If we just add 35 grams of acid to 100 milliliters, our solution is not 35% acidic, but more like 29%. 
This took some trial and error on my part. I had to actually measure the water and add acid and see how much the volume changed in this graduated cylinder. You'll need 200 milliliters of water, 67 grams of citric acid, and 23 grams of malic acid. First, I'm gonna weigh 67 grams of citric acid and add it to my 200 milliliters of water. Next, weigh out and add 23 grams of malic acid to your water. And just stir these to combine. And before we add it to the bottle, let's, let's give it a taste test. Oh shit. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. It's not terrible. I mean, it's kind of, uh, it's like, uh, it tastes like the yellow warheads. So 30% acidic solution, way more acidic than a lime, but remember we're just using small amounts. So just add it to any bottle you have. There is one small caveat with this, and that is this is only going to be super accurate when your target acidity is 6%. If your base level acidity is somewhere between zero and 6% acidity, and you add in the appropriate amount of acid to reach 6% acidity, it works great across the board, as you can see right here. But if you wanna take something that is 1% acidic and make it 2% acidic, then it'll be off by about 10%. I think it still works in that situation. It's just not super accurate. But remember, that juice you started with's accurate acid level is unknown to you, to me, or to anyone else outside of a lab where it can be tested. And really, the purpose here is to get to lime juice level acidity at 6%. And while the Tylenol doser uh, seems a little weird, it is perfect for this especially when you find one with the universal lid. I found one on Amazon, I'll link to it. I actually broke the doser that came with this lid. I tried to stick it into a lime to take a sweet thumbnail pick, but this lid fits in a lot of different bottle sizes, which is why it's great. Um, I was searching forever to find the right application here. I tried teaspoons, droppers, even dashers, and nothing worked. They're just not accurate. But when my four-year-old was sick from preschool a dozen times in the fall and we had to use one of these, the light bulb went off. This one happens to be new and clean, so no worries. The Tylenol branded one is not the one you want. While it does five milliliters, it doesn't do even increments. So you wanna go with a universal one. I'll put a link to this one, but just make sure it has one, two, three, four, and five milliliter increments. But you can use anything as long as it can accurately measure one milliliter. As for its shelf stability and how long this will last, I have no idea. Uh, check back in a year. I think this is concentrated enough that it's fine, but to be honest with you, I just don't know. So let's use it and make an acid adjusted pineapple daiquiri. I'm gonna start with half an ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of pineapple juice, five milliliters of our 1% acid adjuster, and two ounces of your favorite rum. taste it. It tastes great. It tastes like a normal daiquiri that's flavored with some pineapple juice. And what I didn't anticipate would happen here is that you're not even really picking up the fact that it's been acid adjusted. It just tastes like a daiquiri that has some pineapple flavor to it. Some real pineapple flavor, not some sort of syrup or some type of pineapple uh, rum. But that's the great part about it. It should be something that you don't really notice. You're just replacing that lime juice with pineapple juice that's acidic or grapefruit or whatever else you wanna use. And the best part about all of it is it's super easy. You just leave that on your bar and when you need it, you can test it out and you can use small increments. If I felt the drink was not acidic enough right now, I could take another milliliter and pump it into there right now. And you'd have yourself a daiquiri that is a pineapple juice that's like six to 7% acidic. And then you can really dial in the acidity you want based upon the cocktail. Now for all you nerdy nerds out there that want to know about dilution, 
five milliliters is equal to 0.17 ounces. That's much less than a quarter of an ounce and our solution is not even 100% water. This is not contributing very much at all to dilution in my opinion, and is actually less dilution than if you sort of added a quarter ounce more of juice to your cocktail. Now, I went so far as to test this, uh, having to do with the extra dilution, and I figured out that uh, the extra dilution here from five milliliters is about equivalent to two tiny pieces of nugget ice. So just think about that. You're shaking up your cocktail and you put in two extra tiny pieces of nugget ice, then that's accounting for the extra dilution if you're using five milliliters of our acidic solution. The one major flaw I do see in this for the true sticklers is that citric and malic acid levels are baked in. There might be a juice you want more or less malic acid. And in this case, you really can't adjust that. But I could see someone out there making separate citric and malic acid solutions. And I think that would be pretty interesting. Actually, I think that would be great. Then you can add in two milliliters of citric and one milliliter of malic separately to fine tune. And I'll probably do that one day. I hope this makes sense. If you found this video confusing, I actually had to shoot this video twice. I finished the first one, but it just didn't fit together. But what was nice about having to redo it is that in between, I came across Educated Barflies video with Garrett Richard from the Sunken Harbor Club, and that video is great. They acid adjust a Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai. And if you found this at all to be interesting, you should watch that video. And I'll put a link for it above. And uh, Garrett Richard has a book coming out in just a couple weeks from the time I'm filming this called Tropical Standard. And I have the feeling that this is gonna be a very important book in modern tiki, tropical drinks, cocktails in general. And I'm sure I'll be highlighting it here. He worked with Dave Arnold and he's on a couple episodes of the Cooking Issues podcast. That's Dave Arnold's podcast, which you should also check out. That's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Making Drink. And if your brain hurts and you need another drink, try watching one of these episodes right here.